Today on our show, we are very glad to have with us Andres Cepeda. How are you? Fine, Athena. Thank you. Nice to be with you. And uh, wanting to tell you about my upcoming tour and my musical project for this year. Thank you. Yes, we're so excited. Okay, so tell us all about this U.S. tour. We're so excited. It starts April of this year. Tell us all about it. Yeah, it starts on, a on April in Nashville. And we are going all the way to Boston in, on March 4th. It's going to be 19 cities. Uh, it's going to be a tour called Tengo Ganas Tour USA 2024. And it, it it's going to be mostly um, about the the pop and rock side of my career. Last last two years, I was I was touring with a more acoustic set, um, relying more on the boleros and the most romantic stuff, which, which has a little bit to do with Latin jazz. And uh, that's one side of my career. And, and I'm going to tour with another um, sound, which, as I told you, is more rock pop oriented. And it's got a lot of more, more energy to it. The other one was more like... Uh, um emotional very sensitive uh, lyrics and a narrative and um we're gonna tune it up a little bit and be a more more rock pop set okay that's exciting are you excited for it yeah of course we've been preparing <laughs> for that the last two months and it's like it's it's a lot of songs it it, it it covers from the beginnings of my career to the most recent um uh, a recording so it's it's, it's it's gonna be a very nice show that's amazing okay so we're all waiting for you we're in tampa so april 26th mm -hmm. everyone can come to the carol Norsani hall get your tickets everything like that so we're excited for you in tampa florida um also you're going to be doing like big shows like you're going to be doing in new york Car um the carnegie hall so are you yeah, excited for that because it was sold out very last nice time venues. very nice venues all around the united states and we're going to be in tampa too so i'm very glad and, and, and i hope you come uh, to the show and i hope you 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 are in very good company because it's, it's a very romantic show oh i need a date then so, to the show i need a date yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Date. It, it would be nice <laughs> or maybe you can meet someone there <laughs> yeah you know what a nice a nice colombian guy would be nice if a lot of colombians go that would be nice <laughs> <For sure. laughs> tell us a little bit also then so you're a four-time latin grammy winner um tell us you just won for um best traditional pop vocal album how yes, excited were you for that tell us about that very excited. You would think after maybe three previous Grammys, uh, you you kind of get used to it, and and def definitely you don't. Every time it's, it's it's more exciting than the time before. So I really enjoyed it a lot. Last time it was in Sevilla, uh, beautiful city. We, we had lots of fun, very nice shows, and well, we we came back home with a Grammy. So we are, we are very happy, and we expect to to be considered in future uh, recordings too. That's exciting. So tell us when you're actually up there and you're getting the awards and everything like that, do you get nervous at all? What are you actually feeling? What are your emotions when you win and you're up there and you're doing your speech? Well, before they announce it, you're very you're gonna be very nervous, you know? Yeah. And yeah. Very anxious. And once you get your your name said out loud, well, I mean a, a great happiness and some nerves, of course. You try to not forget everyone you wanna thank. Yeah. <laughs> on your <little> speech. <laughs> so that's not so easy. But but mainly a great happiness and, and, and pride and, and and you also feel very happy for the team that, that's behind one of these uh, projects. So. That's amazing. And I want to ask you, um, to have all of your success and all of like that, would you say it was hard work or your destiny, like it's fated for you to be in this position or a little bit of both? How do you feel about that? I think it's a little bit of both because uh, the, it, this has been always my dream since, since I was very, very small. So I was a kid, so um, and I have have also had to to work very very hard for it. Yeah, you know, so so it's a combination of both. Uh, I still enjoy a lot what I do. Um, there's more a, a lot of, a lot of aspects of my work that I don't consider uh, work. I really enjoy. So I hope it keeps that way. But uh, of course, it's been a lot of work too. Wow. Yeah. And then tell us you're on the Voice of Colombia. Like, tell us what's yeah. that like it's for so many seasons and everything like that. What is that like for you? I love the format. I love the show. Um, it's refreshing. It's a TV show uh, with a lot of um, with, a, with with a great vibe. Uh, the yeah. kids are always funny. You know, you kind of um, recharge energy energy working with them. It's a very nice situation, and I I, I just love the show. And they keep inviting me, so that's fine. <laughs> we, lo <laughs> we love seeing you more and more on the show. That's great. It's very nice to be a part of this um, Colombian scene. You know. 
Um, there's a lot of music about Colombia. There's, there's, there's not only Urbano, there's not only Vallenato, there's not only pop. There's a lot of things going on. And to be a part of it, it's, it, it, it's really nice. I, I, I feel proud. I think it's, the, it's one of the best things about our country, our music. That's amazing. Tell us, you also have a song with um, Sebastian Yatra. Um, Maya, mm -hmm. tell us about that because I'm a fan of Yatra as well. Love his music. Love yeah, his, like, yeah, yeah. The combo of you guys both are Maya, magic. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. No, tell us about the song. Okay, this song, um, we met we met when we were working at, at, at The Voice in mm -hmm. Colombia. And um, since we, we both like romantic, li romantic yeah. lyrics, romantic songs, but in different genres, you know? So yeah. one day we were discussing about our... I, our favorite artists and we kind of got uh, into this argument and one of our partners says why don't you stop, stop arguing about music and write a song and we look at each other and said yeah she's right <laughs> let's go ahead <laughs> and, and, and we did this magia song and recorded it a few weeks later and it was a nice thing because we found our points of our, 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 our common ground um, instead of looking out at our, our, our differences and that's how the song was born wow well thanks to you guys like for keeping love alive and like romanticism and all of that things because in today's society with everybody just in general the youth everything I feel like love is gone and love is kind of missing so just to talk about romance and all these things and music it just makes you feel it again and it's it's a good thing I think it's I important for us to be around doing that because as you just said um, we don't see in so much anymore and and people really need it you know there's mm -hmm. moments in life where, where, where we just want to feel like that and 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 and, and have like these experiences and and have these feelings so so this music is going to be around yeah for those. <laughs> and i wanted to ask you are you a romantic at heart like okay with your you have your wife like are you do you like taking her out to dinner like are you like an old school romantic like that do you like holding hands do you sometimes, like, holding hand? yeah, like sometimes in some ways, not not too much. It, it, it would be it would be <laughs> it would be overwhelming. But but no no no. In 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 a, in a normal sense, I try to be uh, kind of romantic and have some, certain details. And one of the things I like to do is take her out to dinner. Yeah, well, that's nice. And I have to ask you, where did you meet your wife? I met her uh, on an interview. She oh, was really? she was working for yeah she was working for uh, for a newspaper. And she 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 went to a, a news event when I was when I was doing a a, a press uh, conference and she interviewed me and her, her interview was amazing and she was amazing and I, I kind of fell in love right away. <laughs> oh my gosh! No way. Okay, so what happened after that? You have to tell us the details. Like, okay, she interviewed, okay, but well, did it, you contact it, her? Like, yeah, I tried to contact her. I invited her to a show uh, on the next day. She went to the show, and um, after that, we started to talk, and it took me about almost two months to make her understand that I was serious, that I wasn't yeah. just, uh, you know, playing around. So um, once I, 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 I got that, um, we started a relationship, and it's been almost 12 years. Wow. How did she feel when she met you? Like you said, it was love at first sight for you, for her as well? Uh, I think she thought she she thought uh, it, it was a nice interview. I was a, a nice guy, but uh, she wasn't as interested in me as I was in her. So so I, that's what? why it took me a few months. That's why to... I took that time. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Now, did you want like at that time frame when you met her? Were you you weren't looking for love? Was it on your mind, or you just met her, fell in love, and then that was it? Yeah, I wasn't looking for love, not at all. Mm -hmm, I was mm -hmm. I was I was happily single then. <laughs> oh, you're and, happily single uh, then. And, I, I, I didn't expect to meet somebody who, who I, I would like so much. So, so it was kind of a surprise. And and that was it. I just fell for her. Wow, that's nice. I love that story. I love it. <laughs> and then <laughs> we love love story. I love love stories. Um, <laughs> and then you also have another family member. You have Dorita? Yeah, we have this little um, uh, dog we, we, we adopted um, three years ago. Um, and she goes around with us everywhere she travels with me whenever she can fly Aww. over to other countries for, for the show she 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 does and 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 she's so cute and very still so so it, it, it's a good partner it's a, it's she's, a good she's even she's been on the voice she's been to your show yeah. she's she's a superstar <laughs> she, was, she was on tv a few nights ago because they took her to, to the show and i thought it would be nice to, um, to bring it on stage with with the kids 
So so she oh. enjoyed the time of the show and, and, and she, she was around for a while. <laughs> That's beautiful. Is she coming on the tour? Uh, no, I don't think so. It's going to no, be very it's too much. intense. Yeah, yeah, I, I was going to say it's too so, much. It's too so much. She, she, she's staying home, yeah. Oh, she's going to have a nice little, you know, time of to herself as well. So, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> so tell us now for this American tour, the U.S. tour that you're having. Um, is there anything that you're bringing with you that you can't leave behind? Your do you have yeah. special guitars? Do you have things that you're bringing that? Yeah. Well, I, to start with, I I, I I change all my setup. It's 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 a few different musicians, and instead of the. Uh, the, the the classical piano and the upright and the and, and the horns I, I I bring drums and electric guitars and and bass and and, and synths and stuff because it's a whole different sound and yeah. I have a very special guest another Colombian artist who's starting with his career he's very talented and his name is Alejandro Santa Maria he's coming over with me and he's gonna be our opening act and he's, he's gonna also going to perform with me on my set so um, great talent Alejandro. That's exciting. That's exciting. Now, tell us the difference when you do your U.S. tours as opposed to shows in Colombia. Like, is the energy very different for you here in the U.S. in the U.S. or how do you feel when you perform here? We we usually perform the same exact show in in in, in different countries, mm-hmm. and what 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 is very different is how people uh, react to it. You know, um, it's not the same for me to sing at home. Uh, as as when I go to some foreign country, for example, last year I, I spent a lot of time playing in Europe, and I found out that the the the, the Latin American audience was there. Um, obviously, miss their their home countries very much, and they tend to to be very emotional on the shows because they find in the music this bridge that connects them with their home country, and yes. and that's a very special feeling. That's very different from when when you when you play home. Yeah. Now, when you come here to the States, do you eat certain foods? Anything that you look forward to? Anything you like doing in the States while you're here? Like <laughs> Anything yeah. I can put my hands on. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love that about, about traveling uh, with the music. That, is, it, it, that you get to taste so many different things yeah. and you get to go to, yeah. And I try to visit nice restaurants and enjoy my food. Now, yeah. we have to ask you because we're Greek. So have you been mm-hmm. to Greece? Do you like Greek food? Yes, I have been to Greece, uh, um, and I love Greek, Greek, Greek food. The thing was that after two weeks, it became a little heavy for me, but oh, <laughs> I, no kept on, I kept on going. I, that didn't stop me. Yeah. Wow. What's your favorite Greek food? Like, what do you like? Uh, uh, I like I, I, I like the way uh, you guys prepare the fish, and yeah. I love the salads, and obviously, I, I love the, the goat cheese. Oh, yes. Okay. Good, good, good. All right. You want? Do you want to say your first Greek word? Do you want to say everything to the Greek listeners? Yeah, why not? Are you ready? Okay, you could say Kalispera. Go again. Kalispera means good afternoon. Kalispera. Kalispera. Oh, there you go. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? Kalispera. Good afternoon. Oh, okay, okay. That's like Kalispera. a greeting. Kalispera. <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> Thank That's you. awesome. Yes. And then tell us, so you've accomplished so much in your career, everything in your life, everything. So what would you like to accomplish next? Or like, what would you like to do? I would love, to, I would love to keep on doing what I'm doing. I, I, I am enjoying the ride very much. I would like to keep on writing, performing, producing music for a very long time. There's a bunch of places I still want to visit. There's a, a, a lot of artists I want to play with. So I think there's, there's still a, a nice road ahead. And as long as I, uh, Keep on loving what I'm doing. I won't stop. And I wanted to ask you, so how many guitars do you actually own? Wow. How many do you own? <laughs> <laughs> I think we are, um, it's around maybe 16 or 17 guitars. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And they're all like different, different performances, yeah. things. That you... Yeah, they're very different. They, I, I got a bunch of acoustics. I got I a bunch of electrics, some, some hollow bodies, some solid bodies uh, that, that I really love that I, I, I've been picking up uh, during my career and um, I use for different things in, in the studio or sometimes like. Yeah. Do you have one of them that are like your prize guitars or anything that's like cherished? Yeah. You? There's, there's a Gibson songwriter, which I use exactly for that, <laughs> for, for writing yeah. my songs. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then tell us when you go into the studio, then how does the magic of the song get written? Like, do you kind of think about how you're going to write or does it come to you naturally? Just I, I, I usually don't write in the studio. I, I usually get to the studio with, 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 with finished songs, mm-hmm. but sometimes that happens. Anyway, I, I usually start with the music 
and then go to the lyrics. I usually know, kind of know in the beginning what the song is going to be about. Mm -hmm. And I start doing the music and then go over to the lyrics. That's awesome. That's awesome. Okay, that sounds great. So we are so excited to see you on this Thank tour. You. Like we said, again, everybody listening here in Tampa, Florida, come out to the Carol Mersani Hall, April 26. All the other tour dates, 18 tour dates, everyone can buy their tickets on your website. We are so excited. And then is there Thank anything you. else that you wanted to tell everybody that to look forward to like we said we're just excited for everything anything else you want to tell them I, i'm just i'm just thankful for the space and the time you offer me and i hope you see you guys um on the show yes us too us too gracias Bye. See ya. <laughs> thank you thank you hi everybody i am andres cepeda and you are listening to wcra tv